What's up guys, it's Alex from Paperform. And with the holiday season approaching us too quickly, we decided to have a bit of fun with this next wide flow form template. So, we decided to create a secret Santa questionnaire. This will allow you to get people enlisted for a gift exchange and even randomize and match who buys who a gift. So let's jump into the form editor and take a look at how we can personalize this to suit your gift exchange. Like with any text throughout our form editor, we can treat it as we would a Word doc. Simply click on the correlating text you wish to edit or even highlight so that you can change the placement, appearance, and even hyperlink the text. As we scroll down, we can see I've included multiple headings, your details, what are your favorites, as well as finish these sentences. Scrolling back up to the top, we can see we've included a dummy header image. Like with any images throughout the form editor, if you wish to remove, simply click on the image and click that X icon there. You also have the ability to replace the image with one of your own, hyperlink and change the appearance and placement. Let's scroll down to the question fields and take a look at how we can edit and change those. To change the title of a question field, simply click on the correlating space you can remove by highlighting again, as well as change it to be bold, italic, and even hyperlink. You can even include a question description on any of your fields. Now, if you wish to change the type of field it is, simply click on the drop down menu here and have a look at our many options. To remove a question field, once again, click your X icon. To duplicate, you can simply click that icon there. And to change the placement, grab those two horizontal lines and drag and drop. Now, if you wish to edit the field further, simply click on the cogwheel icon and enter the configuration settings. From here, you have the ability to change whether it is required, as well as put on some visibility logic and even include a default answer. Jumping back out, we're gonna scroll down and take a look at the options I've included. We've got first name, last name, email, gender, and age. Now I've included this particular group, group one as you can see up there, to grab the details of those people enlisting for the gift exchange. As we scroll down, we'll take a look at the what are your favorite questions I've included. Favorite color, favorite book, to movie, and even store. What this is going to do is it's going to help you or one of your enlisted members understand what gift to buy for the person they've matched with. Scrolling further down, I've included a final page break. Now, if you wish to add a page break throughout your form, Anywhere you can do so by clicking on a free empty space. This will bring up a tab on the left hand side. It will allow you to add questions, breaks, images, videos, and HTML for agency users anywhere throughout your form. To enter the configuration of one of the breaks I've already included, simply select the break and head to the right. Click the cogwheel icon and you will enter the configuration settings, whether it be a new page or a same page. Personally, I'm gonna leave mine on the new page, making this a smoother flowing form. I've included in the finish these sentences questions, I do like, I do not like, and of course, all I want for Christmas is. Now that we've done this and look at the basics of the form, we wanna take a look at how we can actually manage and randomize who buys a gift for who. So let's get into our Google Sheets. Here I've got an untitled sheet, which I'm gonna rename Secret Santa. And then I need to make some column headings. For this, I'm gonna label it as the name. Then I'm gonna input email, age, and gender. Now that I've created that, I'm gonna jump back into my form editor, scroll to the top, select after submission, and jump into integrations and webhooks. The process I'm following now is connecting a Google Sheet to my form. What I want to trigger is to add row to sheet. Now what's gonna occur is every time my form is submitted, my Google Sheet is gonna populate with the submission responses. I'm gonna click add row to sheet, and then you can see my account has already been selected. If you need to add an account, simply click the add account and follow the prompts. I'm gonna select sheet Secret Santa, as we saw, I just labeled that, and sheet one. Now we can see here, those columns have appeared that I just created. To populate, I'm gonna go over here and select my name field for first name, and I'm also gonna input the last name too. I'm gonna to select my email question type, scroll down, the age, as well as the gender. Now, the next move 
is to send a test. But please be wary and ensure that before you click send test, that you have run a test submission on your form. This means that you've gone into the live view of your form and you've actually gone through and submitted. The reason we need to do this is so that Google Sheets has some data to pull to ensure that the connection exists. Upon clicking send test, we can see that mine has come back with success. So if I jump into my Google Sheets, we will see that my last submission will populate my sheet and those columns. And as we can see, my last submission, Alex Knowles, alexapayperform.co, age 25 and male, has populated that sheet. That's awesome. So now I'm just gonna quickly input a few more dummy submissions so we can take a look at how we can match up each individual with their secret Santa. Perfect. Now that I've created some dummy members of the gift exchange, what I'm gonna do first and foremost is to highlight those and remove that bold formatting so it's easier to read. Next, we need to work out how we're going to randomize and match who's buying a gift with who. So I'm gonna create a new column and I'm gonna label that Secret Santa. The next step, I'm gonna select the field of A, select the column of A, I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna paste it into the Secret Santa. As we can see, we've got Alex Knowles matched up with Alex Knowles, Sam with Sam, which is not what we want. Really simple from here. I'm gonna select this field. I'm gonna jump over to data. From here, I'm gonna go down to randomize range and click. Now we can see it has randomized all of those members and matched them up with someone else. However, there is always the possibility that the randomized range has matched someone with themselves. Now we wanna easily be able to see this so that we can fix it. So with that still selected, the column of Secret Santa, I'm gonna jump up into format, scroll down to conditional formatting there, and then I'm gonna put in a custom formula under format cells if. I'm gonna jump into the value of formula section and I'm gonna type equal to, and as we can see, the names are labeled in A, so I'll type the A column. Once again, A equal to, E, so I'm gonna input E, E. Now, for instance, let's say that you created a Google Sheet with solely the column for A, that's name, and you're putting your secret center into B. You would simply replace this formula with B and B. Of course, because as we can see, my secret center lies in the E column, I need to make mine for that E. Next, I'm gonna choose a highlight of red so that we know that any of the columns that are the same as others, they'll be highlighted as red. We can see here that none of mine were matched up with themselves. And we can see what would appear here as we have a column that contains the same as the Secret Santa column, that is going to appear as red. Perfect, now that we're taking a look at how we can match who's buying a gift with who, we wanna ensure that that Google Sheets setup is finalized. So we know it works, all we need to do is click finish setup, and now every time someone submits the form, their details are gonna populate our Google Sheets. Too easy. But now we wanna set up an automatic email response. It's quite easy to do. So from our after submission, we're gonna click emails. And we can see here we've got the default email summary on submission toggled on. This is going to send an email to the email address associated with your paper form account every time that the form is submitted. That email is going to contain a default summary submission. But maybe we wanna include an email that will send to the submitter themselves. So while we're in the email tab, we're gonna click add email. And here we need to show we create a subject Secret Santa will be mine. And I'm gonna pipe in my email question field by clicking on that icon there. Now what's going to occur is every time the form is submitted, this email will capture the email address response they input and send my custom automatic email response straight into their inbox. How easy is that? Now you have the ability to choose what the content of your mail is of course, as nobody is purchasing anything, we're gonna choose either a custom message or a submission summary. 
I'm gonna select custom message and I'm gonna show you a bit more of what we can achieve with our email response. So I'm gonna type here, hi, and then I'm gonna pipe in the answer for their first name. Much like with our piping in of the email response, this is gonna pipe in the person's response to the first name question field. So if I were to submit my form with this email response implemented, I'm gonna receive an email saying, hi, Alex, because I responded to the question field of first name with Alex, making it a lot more personal. Thank you so much for up for our secret Santa gift exchange. We will contact you once all members have enlisted and your secret Santa has been found. Thanks. That looks good to me. So now that that's implemented, I'm simply gonna click add email. Now that's all left to do is to personalize the look and feel of your form. You can go to configure to change the title of your form as well as the cover image. If you wish to change the color and themes, simply click on this water drop icon in the top right corner. This gives you so many options when it comes to personalizing your form. You can even implement translations, change the look of your buttons and your background image, change the fonts, text, the way they appear, as well as the coloring of your form. You even have the ability to randomize the theme or import a theme of one of your other forms. Jumping back out of the theme, if at any time you wish to look at the live view of your form, simply click on the eye icon we find in the top right. That's all from me. Now that you've had a look at how to personalize the form, jump on and have a go yourself. Happy form making and see you next time when we look at the Christmas Hamper app.